<sighs> Good morning. That is all. <laughs> no. Today I have got my second chance at going up to London to get my results for my oh, all sorts of tests that I've had done um, and the opportunity to speak to an endocrine specialist, an endocrine pituitary specialist. I'm not holding out much hope, which is possibly the reason I've already taken four diazepam just to get me up there. Because if they tell me that they can't help me, then um, I think possibly all hell will break loose. Yes, I don't think I will be accountable for my actions. <laughs> um, I will have to apologise to Mother first. Um, because I have been here before quite a few times. And because they can't operate on my brain. <laughs> they think it's okay for me to do nothing all day. And they think it's alright for me to be left like a twat. I don't. I want to do things. I want to go back to work. Um, I like work. I always have done. I know, I'm sad. But no, they think that it's acceptable for a 40-year-old to have a shower and then have to go back to sleep because they're so tired. I know, but can you believe that this beautiful face is ill? No, I think that's half the problem. If I looked ill, they might help. So I shouldn't have put my makeup on. But then I think they might have, oh, because I told the doctor to fuck off, I think he might have realised that I was ill. Oh, that's why they're doing everything. So that's it. Um, but I've got a funny feeling, because of what I've got, it always comes back with um, everything's borderline. Um, but now I've got the two tumours, so hopefully that will encourage the consultant or whatever she is, specialist, to try and do something. I can't even do my own fucking garden, for God's sake. Hello, Peggy. Hello. Ooh. Um, I couldn't even get out of bed the other day. Pathetic. I was just tired. I was a little bit tired. Um, so, it's a very strange setup. I'm very, very worried that they're going to say that they can do nothing and I'm going to be left in the situation that I am in at the moment. Because I don't want to be left like this. And if they say that, then I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I think it might just tip me over the edge. But if it doesn't... Pfft, I don't know. <laughs> I might just go into hysteria mode and become a minion. I see, that would be quite nice. I'd like to be a minion because they're always happy. I'd make a good minion. I would okay so fingers crossed um i'm all matching and i did i, I had an attempt at ironing my top because i'm going with my mother but i'm not very good at ironing because it hurts <laughs> so i sort of half did it hmm. uh I'm going up to near platform nine and three quarters, so that would be very exciting. And I might try and run through the wall. <laughs> um, hurt my nose. Uh, there's a decent coffee shop up there, so I will look forward to the coffee shop. Oh, and Adam's coming on Thursday, so I look forward to that too. Because he have a laugh. Um... I need help with my garden. And everyone's ignoring the fact. <laughs> I think because I think I might cook. <laughs> but 
I might cook a cake. Do you cook a cake? No, you bake a cake. See? And I wouldn't. I promise you, I won't. I won't do anything like that. I will buy it. Won't cook anything. Because you might be dead. I think the last thing my grandfather ever ate was a little piece of my chocolate cake and then he died. So I'm not cooking cake again. Right, okay. Five minutes, 22. Um, I shall leave it at that. I'll let you know how it goes if I get up there. Fingers crossed I'll get up there. And I'll let you know if I shout. Um, hopefully my phone, because Adam did something to my phone, so hopefully my phone is on roaming now. So I might be able to Facebook or something. Something exciting like that. I can't FaceTime. But I might be able to do something else. Okay, uh, so that's me done for today. I shall speak to you later.